Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon. We are ready to go take that teleport pad once and for all. Jeez. I feel like we've been in this place forever. Yeah. I know that. But it should be revised now. No revision has been received. Yo, listen to me, little robot man. I just spent like the last two hours messing around in here. <laughs> hey you, can't you be more flexible? Maybe my spell isn't that strong, but I'm here. Why don't you just let us go? <laughs> the law prohibits humans from going to the Signet Fair. A world crisis is near at hand. No interest in world crisis, crisis interest only in compliance with the law. Uh, what is this? Wingly Code, Article 703, revised, enforced immediately. Um, nice. The law does not prohibit non-winglies from going to the Signet Sphere. It says, does not prohibit? It seems the produced law is launched, arrives, and then is enforced. They're treating laws as if they're commodities. It's all it was anyways. The law was a mere tool to judge other creatures for them, the winglies. We spent too much time with that tool. We gotta get to the Signet Sphere before my father. Yeah, man. We gotta go. Know what I mean? You are at the flying disc station of the teleportation device. Determine the destination. The Great Court Signet Sphere, you guys. Oh, boy. Is Zigamo Z? Oh, we're going to that big friggin' UFO thing. Is Zeke already going to be here? That's my question. Ooh, there's a save point. A second save point, you guys. That literally only means one thing. The Signet Sphere should be in here. Signet Sphere, Signet Sphere, Signet Sphere. Dart, Rose, Albert, Hashel, Meru, Kongol, and Miranda. Total seven. <laughs> okay, don't freak out. Confirmed accused. Accused. What does it say? at the flying disc station in front of the great court. <laughs> it's a waste to ask. Yeah, these, these robots are like... I'm not sure what's wrong with them. They're like broken or something. What is this? Okay. Now I'm thinking boss fight. Because, I mean, there's literally a save point right back there. We literally saved, like, three minutes ago. <laughs> Getting a little nervous, you guys. Oh, yeah. This looks like a room to fight a boss. <laughs> if you ever see a big, circular, open, wide-open area in an RPG, <laughs> there's about to be a freaking battle. Where are we? It's the court of Xenobatos. It is the place where judgment is passed for non-winglies under the name of fake justice. And still now. Oh, here we go. Boopily boopily boop boop. Guilty, 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 holy shit. Nomos, you guys. Oh no. My name is Nomos. I am the justice. My word is the only truth. We're here to protect the Signet Sphere. Let us go through here. Accused Dart, Rhodes, Albert, Hashel, Miranda, Meru, and Kongol. <coughs> Seems you know that we're here for the Signet Sphere. And you're trying to intervene? Why? Accusation. The will of the creator. So, uh... Oh, it's like definitely glitching or something. It's not working. Oh, no. Is this manipulated by my father? Ugh. Thus, the death penalty is sentenced. Come out, winged executioners. Vector celibus. Kubala, start the execution. Well. Away we go. Sounds like we're going to be up against three. Because <clears throat> he said three names there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right. We got Vector, the guy in the center. Celebus, the uh, six-winged creature on the right there, and then Kubala, 
who has a big giant uh, scythe. Hmm, who should we kill first, you guys? Well, these both look like attackers, these guys. This chick kind of looks like she's going to end up being a healer or something like that. Hmm. What should we do, you guys? Let's go ahead and set some stuff up. Um, okay, so we got the power down on him. Uh, should we just start going madness on magic, you guys? Let's do it. We have so many. I don't think we have to tap for any of these, either. I'm pretty sure all of the powerful spells are, are non-tap. Non oh, this is gonna be hilarious, yo. Literally every single most powerful magic in the game is about to be used. 1,000! Okay, just got like a cold, cold breath. What the hell is that? No, it's dip it's petrification, you guys. The one item that we only have a single one to use. Oh, that is bad. I wonder if that'll just wear off eventually. This might be very bad. Oh, that's a... Man. I thought uh, it was a cape that was on his back, but he's actually got... Oh, he's actually floating! I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even notice that he was literally floating. Alright, let's get the speed up on Dart. So that we can blast magics out of our ass. Night Raid, you guys ready? Let's go! This is actually my favorite magic in the entire game. It's the one with all the teeth and claws and stuff. Ow. Yeah, this was always my favorite magic in the game. It's just so cool. Hell yeah. Woo! I, forget it, uh, I forgot that it, it causes darkness as well, but they're all bosses, so... No, don't, don't you dare. No, no, no. <laughs> plug, your, plug your ears. <laughs> oh, that's going to do something bad. Oh, my God, that definitely did something bad. It confused Dart and King Albert. Please stop it. Oh, I knew she was going to be some type of healer. No, don't run. What are you doing? Yes, yes. Physically attack him. Take him out of Confuse. Or not. I am a smart boy. Dragoons cannot have status effects. So if I bring him into the ethereal world, it'll turn Dart and King Albert back into Dragoons and remove their confusion. And bring them into the ethereal world. Welcome to hell. Let's death dimension them. Welcome to hell. You thought your status effects would break me. I'll teach you the definition of broken. Death dimension. Shatter them into pieces, Rose. Gosh. Rose is so damn cool. They appear to be not taking very much damage. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. We're dragoons, sweetheart. Sorry. Alright, tough guy, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prepare for glory! Please do mecha, mecha damage. Holy shit! 1,701. That is our new hardest hit. 
<laughs> Brought to you by Dart. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's what got you into this predicament in the first place, little harpy. Yeah. What a waste of a turn. Oh, we get to see it for the first time, you guys. The Jade Dragon. Go! <laughs> Damn, son, that thing is crazy looking. Looks like a, a emerald weapon. Holy crap! Oh, that is going to do a stupid amount of damage. Oh, 1782! New hardest hit! Brought to you by King Albert, and that middle guy is down for the count. Yeah, that's not gonna do shit. You thought your status effects would win this fight for you, didn't you? But now you see that it's all for nothing. The Dark Dragon. Oh, and this is in the dark ethereal world as well. That This is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Unless that thing is, like, uh, uh, partially immune or, uh, like, resistant against dark magic, this should do a dumbass amount of damage. I hope that guy with the scythe, uh, if she doesn't die here, then the guy with the scythe is gonna get, uh, a final burst immediately after. This should do a stupid, stupid... Okay, 528. Maybe she is resistant to magic. Which would make sense. She's the team's healer. She's gonna snap heal again. Nope, she's gonna try to use that spell one more time. And it's not gonna do a damn thing. Thank God for being able to go Dragoon, you know what I mean? So, let's give this chick a final burst then. This should drop her. Final burst, you guys. Come on, kill her. I want this to kill her. 6.30? Yes, she's dead, she's dead. Hey, buddy. You're all alone. Yeah. You better do something crazy. What in the world? He's a Dragoon, so if, if this is some kind of... Oh my god, he fucking killed Albert, you guys. That is fucking brutal. Brutal! You know what the most brutal part is? Is that the other two are stuck in Dragoon, essentially. You understand what I mean? Let's give him a five hit. He's in yellow. Let's give him a final burst. Damn, yo, Albert might not gain experience from this fight. Because we may actually kill this guy before having a chance to bring Albert back. I could purposely mess up Dark's attacks. But because we're in the Dark Ethereal world, Rose is guaranteed to get her five-shot combo, right? That's why I did Final Burst instead of just purposefully messing up an attack because I know I'm going to end up killing him anyways. Like, he's probably dead right here. Right when Rose gets his, her turn. Oh yeah? What you got there, bud? Uh-huh. Okay. Holy crap. Pretty strong. I got you. Yeah, see, he's in red. Damn, you guys. I wish there was a way to come out of Dragoon, but there is not. Ooh. 
no way he's actually gonna do that shit again. And he's doing it to Rose, too. Dude. Yo, if he does that to Dart here, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh, he, he did it as a death move. Okay, so Dart's the only one who survived. Jesus. He's pretty strong at the end of a fight there, man. Damn. So we only get 12,000... Well, like, not we only get 12,000 experience. We get 12,000 experience points, but only Dart is actually going to gain any experience here. I don't know if he's going to get all 12,000. Level up. Dart. Let's see if he actually gets all 12,000, you guys. Because normally experience is split apart between your three party members, so technically he should only gain 4,000. But because the other two are dead, I'm not sure what the game is going to do. Oh my god, I think it's giving him all 12,000, you guys. Level up, Dart. <laughs> oh my god, it's giving him all 12,000. <laughs> this is crazy, you guys. What the fuck, yo? Level up. Dart. <laughs> That's all he's gonna get, though. Yeah. Hashel. Level up. Meru. Level up. Conkle. Level up. Miranda. Level up. <laughs> if you're wondering the people that you don't use, they actually gain 25% uh, of whatever experience points you get. Master, hurry to the god. Rebels against Soa's will overcome me. Now, we are in desperate need of being fixed. The signet sphere is over there. Let's go. Yeah, let's not go. Let's hold on, because... <laughs> look at us, holy... That was a crazy fight. Let's go ahead and just use a uh, single breeze for now. We need to go back upstairs and visit the shop. We have no depetrifiers or anything, like, we are in a bad spot. Geez, we didn't even really get to use all of our uh, extensive list of magic there because they ended up being a team of, like, status effect, uh, slash, um, like, status effect slash problem battle, rather than just, like, a back and forth, like, heavy HP damage. They were definitely oriented to be status affecting us and causing all kinds of uh, never-ending problems. Luckily, right when it did the double confuse, right when that harpy girl did the double confuse, my brain was like, bruh, transform into a dragoon, <laughs> you know? And then I was like, oh yeah, you're right, brain. Uh, thank you, brain. Uh, do not use. Hold on. Let's get another Breeze out to bring us back up to maximum HP. Let's get a Sun Rhapsody on, uh, Dart. Yes, I know exactly what I'm here for. And then, uh, we're gonna grab, uh, one, two Sun Rhapsodies. We're just getting back up, you guys, that's all. A uh, Sun Rhapsody for her, and a Sun Rhapsody for him. Alright, we're back to maximum HP MP. You guys hear my computer there? Clicky, click, 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 click. <laughs> Don't know what it's doing when it does that. I've, I've been trying to figure out what the hell it's doing. I can't seem to figure it out. Um, oh yeah, we don't need to sell anything. Uh, we needed Breeze, 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 don't need one of those, one Depetrifier, we are good, good there, don't need any Charm Potion, we need a single Sun Rhapsody, there we go. Let's 
go ahead and change Dart's addition over to uh, Madness Hero real fast. Pardon me, you guys. That uh, battle kind of shook things up quite a bit there. There we go. We'll get back organized. <laughs> Jeez, this place is big, man. We've been inside this place for like four or five episodes now. Yeah, we're at the end of it now for sure because we just faced a boss. I kind of have a feeling that there's going to be one more boss though, and this is why I wanted to come back and prepare first because that thing said something about some other thing up ahead. What I want to do is charge up SP, which is why I switched back to Madness Hero because Madness Hero gives you friggin' 300 SP. <laughs> so Dart only needs to do Madness Hero like twice to be maximum. Oh, he's only gonna need to do it once. Yes. Go. And there we go, he's back up to Dragon Level 5. <laughs> That's so crazy. Rose is going to take the longest. Damn. I want to try to use Rose's uh, turn as much as I can because she's very low on SP. So it's going to take her the longest to gain SP. Fuck you, counter attack. And because of counter-attack, obviously. He still needs one level, so... There we go. King Albert is now at maximum SP. Don't worry, you guys. I have a... Uh, I have a, a way to get around the fact that Rose is going to take a while. This is why you never sell... Uh, accessories that you might need. Which one is it? Recovers SP each turn. Just gonna need one more battle, essentially. up on Rose. <clears throat> yeah, fuck you. Uh, shove your counter attack up your butthole. <laughs> oh yeah? Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't work. Don't work. Ugh. You're a pain, my friend. You're a pain. A real pain. Well, let, let, let's not, uh... Let's not fix that just yet, just in case it simply does it again. Hard blade. Like the hard blade how to. Please use it on Albert. Okay, it's a multi. Uh, zero on Albert. Miss. Total miss on Albert. The friggin' legend cask is ridiculous. Alright, we're gonna need one more fight, I guess. pretty complicated though. I like that in an RPG though. Uh, an area that takes like a long time to get through. See I don't like getting lost in an RPG. Like if you like you know reach the end of what you feel to be like your ultimate destination and there's simply just nowhere to go. That is the worst feeling that you can have in an RPG. 
but I do like a place that takes hours and hours to actually get through because you really do feel like you've accomplished something once you finally finish the place, right? You're like, yes, you know? Uh, just one. I just need Rose to get SP, that's it. <laughs> Don't mess with Rose. Okay, good. He tried to do Bewitch, which Rose is literally immune to. Hell out of my way, punk. Give me my ass pee. Alright. We are back up to uh, absolute ready combat status. Ready to fight a boss if we need to. Uh, oh yeah, I need to fix his uh, fear. The, uh, what is it? The therapy ring. Oh. Therapy ring. Maximum, maximum, maximum. Sorry, I'm just looking at our numbers here. 500, 500, 500. Maximum MP, maximum MP, maximum MP. Rose is missing a slight bit of HP. And we need to... Come on now. We need to fix darts. Uh, here. I really don't want to take the time to go and get another Mind Purifier, but you know what? I have played so many RPGs that I know that that one Mind purified Purifier might be the difference between winning and losing a fight. like the, the age-old rule of classic RPGs. If you think you should buy more, you know what I mean? If you think you don't have enough of something, buy more. <laughs> you can always just fight a couple of creatures and make some more money. You understand what I mean? Like in uh, Final Fantasy VII, when you first reach the Sector Seven slums, and like you're at Tifa's bar and stuff like that, and there's the very first shops in the game, and that guy sells uh, like all of the original materia. If you go into the train yard in the area before that, you can fight these little dragons uh, that occasionally uh, you can steal an ether from them, and you can sell an ether for uh, 750 gil, which I mean at the beginning of the game, 750 gil is like winning the goddamn lottery. Um, so what you do is just fight a bazillion of those dragons <clears throat> when you first, uh, like at the very, I think you'd be about maybe 40 minutes into the game at this point, when you first reach the train yard, and you literally can keep fighting those until you have like 25 ethers, <clears throat> and then you go and sell all of your ethers, and that is how you get a, a nice, good start on uh, Final Fantasy VII, and, and I mean, that rule applies to almost any RPG, right? Like, if you buy, if you have stuff early on, you know, especially a 12, Final Fantasy 12 is a game that, like, you really gotta take your time at the beginning of that game and, like, buy some good equipment and, <clears throat> yeah, you actually have to grind, you know, but that is what I love the most about RPGs, is the grind, the amount of time that it takes to actually complete an RPG and have a, a good, strong profile and stuff, you know? I love it. So, let's get an um, organization. We are back up to combat status, you guys. Like, boss fighting combat status. And we did fight that triple boss. So this place might actually technically be done. <laughs> just if you guys know me at all, you know I'm gonna go back and prepare just in case I know 
Some RPGs do have like two boss fights, one after the other. I mean, we were just talking about it, but Final Fantasy VII actually has uh, a couple different boss fights that are one boss after the other. Uh, for example, uh, in Disc 1, when you guys first raid Midgar headquarters and you're going, uh, you're, you're going down the elevator, and there's that like helicopter boss, and then there's like the tank boss, and then like the the like mechanical hawk falcon robot thing, you know what I mean? But that's a triple boss fight, one after the other, bang, bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? So I know that that moment does exist in several RPGs. <clears throat> and since I don't remember really anything about this game right now, <laughs> we're pretty far into this game, so my memory is literally lost. But uh, yeah, man, thank you guys so much for coming out. Watch this episode. Legend of Dragoon. <laughs> Do me a favor, hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, man. Freaking love you guys. Wish you guys a total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day, and of course, see you guys in the very next episode. So have a good one. Bye bye.